the definition of Appalachian art isn't so much about, or it shouldn't be, so much about the medium as it is about the experience of this place and how you choose to express it. So whether you are making a, a film about this uh, region or its people, um, or whether you are uh, a photographer or you are uh, you know, using uh, digital media, in my mind, to be Appalachian art as opposed to just simply art, it has to somehow relate to the experience of this place. What I'm doing is weaving a herringbone pattern with hickory bark. And uh, the way you start, a lot of people fasten the ends down, which I don't, because once this dries, it won't come out anyway. I mean, you know, it doesn't matter whether it's tied down or not. And you start and go on the front, you go over one and under two and over two and so forth. And then when you come around next time, you go over two. And then after you do that roll, then you go under one and under two. And then you repeat the pattern. And then on the back, you just do a three, three square. It saves you a lot of time. Uh, I'm a born Kentuckian. I was born in Eastern Kentucky, and I've been here all my life. Never left and done anything. I'm a retired coal miner. I uh, spent about 15 years coal mining, and as a result, I'm disabled and on disabled Social Security. And while I can do work similar like this a little, I can't do it over two, three, four hours a day at the most, if that, and then it just gets me down. So it's not, you know, I'm not on a, a draw just for the fun of it. I'm just not able to work, and coal mining does that. Any coal miner that's worked 20 years is subject to be disabled. I've just done odd jobs all my life. I've run restaurants and delivered papers and just I never had a real job, but my goal in life is being an artist. Uh, one day somebody wanted something, they wanted one of these quilt squares painted that you see, the, what we call barn quilts, that you see on different places. And uh, okay, I decided I'd try that, so I painted a barn quilt. And then somebody come along, I painted another one. And then first thing you know, I had two or three people want me to paint them and said they'd pay me for it. Wow, that was something special because I'd just been doing volunteer work. I had this roommate whose girlfriend was over all the time and she always had she had a banjo and it was just laying around so I would pick it up and it, it came kind of easy to me so I ended up trading uh, actually got ripped off on this trade and traded a really good electric guitar for a really bad banjo probably best trade I ever made too though Being born in the mountains, I guess, uh, you know, I've never, you know, I've always heard mountain music. You know, it came kind of natural. And I believe, uh, you know, just living in the hills is a good setting for that kind of music. Many, many of those students are, are very much their work, who they are, is very influenced by the, their upbringing, their families, their, their home. And so for me, it's still, it's Appalachian art. Well, my name's Cody Montgomery. I'm from McGoffin County, which is just north of just north of here, Knock County. When I was when I was a little boy, about maybe eight or nine, ten years old, uh, there was this clay bank that was exposed near my house, and so I would go to that clay bank and uh, dig clay just to play with, and I'd make like little heads and things and. And I just was always interested in it. And so when I had the opportunity to take ceramics at Moorhead State, I uh, couldn't pass it up. I'll, I'll have, there's, you can take, the, there's four, four sections of the class, and after this semester I'll have completed all four. Um, and once I, once I got into class and realized I could actually do it, I figured I'd just stick with it. Besides that, I fit in pretty good with artists. Uh, well, I've not got a lot of education, like a lot of artists has got. Uh, all artists is different, and 
and all artists has got their little turns and stuff, so that lets me fit in pretty good sometimes. Let you realize that it takes all sorts of people to make the world go round. And I'm just one of them. I, I did not have art classes as per se art classes. Like I said, they didn't even teach it in grade school or high school, so I had no backup on it, you know. At first, I didn't have any real influence playing the banjo, I guess. It was just kind of wild and whatever, you know, I wanted to do is what I've done. And over time, I've been lucky enough to meet people kind of have taught me songs that, you know, come from my people and even my papa, like, some songs I'd, I've learned, you know, in Knott County, like I've played, and he told me that his, you know, his dad played that song. Having a skill and having a, you know, being able to make crafts, having a trade, I think that's important for that. Because this is definitely a region of self-sufficiency and being able to do your own, your own thing. I mean, that's one of my motivations is just, I just like being able to, just to be able to create, you know, functional, useful items. Another reason I like to do this is because, well, I worked all my life and I got a reputation of being hard to get along with. And then I use this to spend the rest of my life kind of countering that, see, trying to get along with people and doing stuff for people. And <laughs> I mean, I got to where I couldn't get a job because Everybody said, well, he's hard to get along with. And all it was is I just worked. You know. I believe in, in giving one hour's work for one hour's pay. And as a result, you know, I give a lot of my stuff away because of that. You know, if you go back even, you know, 60 or 70 years from what I hear, like every, every house had, you know, there was musicians in every family. And I guess in the day of technology and internet and TV, not as many of us around anymore, you know, which is a shame in a lot of ways. You know, art never hurts anyone. It has to help in the long run, and and it's just a, it's a mind game, and I feel like people who can do that do do art, have a piece that maybe others are missing. I do think art is very important in people's lives, even if it takes a very different view than mine. It's still art of its own kind. It's just really good. I think it's good for the soul. Not a lot of real culture left. It's kind of all, you know, getting smashed together. So I figure if you come from an area lucky enough to have your own culture, you should embrace it. I don't want your green back dollar. I don't 